welcome back here. for a cup of coffee I'm uh been home now for oh almost a month and I really don't have a problem working from home I'm very used to it actually I went to school uh, all of my college was done uh, that way uh, I managed teams for my college as well with just about every class and it was with a, a group of people all around the world much like you and me so to me, this is nothing really new. So say hi, Steve. What you up to, buddy? Yeah, he's happy. You wanna sit? Touch? Yes. Twist, twist, turn around, sit, down, yes. See, he does no tricks. Yes. It. Yes. Who says you can't teach a old bed fire setting dog new tricks? Overall, I've been pretty impressed with the GoPro Hero Max. That thing has been just awesome to work with. I know I haven't put out a whole lot other than maybe like two or three uh, 360 videos. The reframing aspect of that video uh, camera's capabilities plus the software is unbelievable. I'm actually really impressed with the stitching it's capable of doing as well. Uh, I heard that a lot of people were complaining about that. I haven't had a problem with that. Uh, especially after render so when you're looking at it and you're editing it and things of that nature I noticed that all of that gets taken care of with the software physically in the cell phone which I'm using in the export process to get it to you so that's a big win I've actually been thinking about selling my GoPro Hero 5 I will ship worldwide make me a reasonable offer I'm not looking for a whole lot of money for it let me know and I'll ship it to you uh, I'm using the Hero 7 Black right now. Even that, I am really disappointed with the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Uh, so all of the video that was taken at the start of this um, movie was done with my Google Pixel 4 XL. And it just goes to show you the capabilities of software in low light settings. I have had the worst worst experience with this thing um, in low light settings and I have tried just about everything everything and, and I don't know what else left to do I've played with all the settings I've watched tutorials on YouTube I've done everything and I've been experimenting with it now for about two years or so and I'm just like eh, if the video is going to turn out like this and uh, those last couple of shots you saw with me with the uh, most expensive item in the world right now, toilet paper, uh, then 
if it's going to be that grainy, I might as well use my cell phone because my cell phone doesn't have that problem. So, I don't know. No, rant over. I just thought you guys would like to know that. And it's, um, it's interesting to me what is possible when you have uh, good quality cameras, but eh, so, so quality software in the process. Anyway, some things just do it a whole lot better, and that's what I'm realizing. So I switched over to the Google Pixel 4 XL. And uh, I just want to let you know, D-Man, that I think after your comment, that like totally cursed me. So these are like my favorite pair of jeans. And um, yeah, so I was sitting uh, crisscross applesauce style and um, while I was working. And um, yeah, my knee ripped my favorite pair of jeans. So I did not have to cut them like your daughter, but I definitely now have a... Uh, holy pair of uh, jeans. I've retreated to the bedroom because the maid service is here. You know, my vacuum cleaners, those things work great. I couldn't be more thrilled. Those things just, I have been breathing so much better with the daily vacuumings in this house. I never realized I was that allergic to pet dander. Steve, it's all your fault. So here's the question, how much money have you spent on a pair of jeans? One, what is your favorite pair? Two, how much did they cost? Three, are you willing to spend additional money for designer jeans? Or jeans that maybe come, you know, that aren't just your typical blue jeans that you might get at um, just any old store. So these are my most expensive pair. And they also fit me really well. They're a pair of uh, True Religions. And it's pretty tough to find the right wash that makes me look decent. But also, I'm a pretty slim guy. I'm about six foot tall, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. Thing is that I'm pretty skinny. I don't have much of an ass. So any pair of jeans that can fit me well is not easy to come by. My typical kick around jeans, uh, I wear Lucky Brand all the time, and I also wear um, Ralph Lauren Polo. I don't spend the full price on these things, just keep that in mind. Uh, I actually have a, a discount store uh, pretty close here, and, and you can find these things for not even half the price that you would see in some of the big department stores, or directly with True Religion. I mean, not even half. So. If you want a good pair of jeans like this, uh, you don't have to pay full price at all. Would you actually spend more money when there's actually less jeans because they already have holes in them? But they fit me really well. That's a tough thing for me. When you have basically no ass, no acetal syndrome, and you've got um, a, a really lengthy body, how can you find a really good pair of jeans that doesn't make you look all... Uh, frumpy. As a guy, you want to look good wearing your jeans. Now I want to introduce you to a brand called Mountain Khakis. It's actually based here in Charlotte. Um, they used to be uh, in Jackson Hole, uh, Wyoming, and uh, they've since moved their headquarters here to Charlotte, but uh, I wear these pants all the time as well, and I've got them in a few different colors, and they fit just unbelievable. So the way I go dressed to work typically is what I call Asheville chic. So it's like, you know, maybe like a plaid shirt or a polo shirt, long sleeves, because I typically cover over my tattoos uh, when I'm actually in the office. Uh, but I will wear khaki similar to this. Uh, I call it that Asheville chic because it kind of looks like a, kind of like a mountain person. But um, I don't know, most of the people up there wear that type of style as well. And uh, you see me wearing this hat, this is actually the Mountain Khakis logo. So you can see what I'm talking about. I mean, look at all this space. I mean, it almost looks like, and like I had a little bit of an accident down here. And I mean, this is again, without a belt. Don't mind the uh, dad bod. But um, yeah, these are my favorite pair of jeans and even these don't really fit this too well. Now, as for my true religions, 
These just fit. Just so much better. I mean, check that out. I mean, no space. It doesn't look like I, I really, doesn't look like I had an accident. You know, they just fit well. Okay, so they got a little extra venting. Not that bending, but here. Yeah, I just, they just fit the way a pair of jeans are supposed to. But that's enough about fashion for today.